this is a piano tutorial for Father John Misty's song, The Palace. Uh, it's a really nice song to play on piano, and I noticed that there was no tutorial on the internet, so I thought I'd make one. So the intro of the song, you're going to start off with a E major chord. So one way to play that is with just the two E's as an octave in the bass, and you're just playing the major triad in your right hand. So that's E, G sharp, and B. That's a, uh, for the rhythm of the song, largely you can uh, reuse uh, what I'm just about to say, which is you're sort of going constant notes in the right hand, and then occasionally you can double the note as you go back. So, But honestly, in this song, the simplicity of just playing the chords works well if you want to sing with it in particular. So yeah, that's the first chord there. And then what he does uh, for the second time playing that chord is uh, shifts and plays a E6 chord. So he's got the 6 in the, in the sort of thumb of the right hand, and these two notes stay the same. So that goes. And then just before that chord, you're releasing the pedal and putting it back down so you get the ringing of the, of the chord. So it sounds like this. just going to change your thumb note from a C sharp to a C and then you're going to hold that for two, two sort of bars. So how that bit sounds uh, all up is and now you're going to shift to this chord which is a D7. So you've got again octaves in, in the bass with the D or if you can't reach you can just uh, use one note, and then in your right hand you've got a C, an F sharp, and an A. So that C is the dominant 7, the F sharp is the 3, and the A is the 5. So uh, coming in from the last chord that is, um, then you're going to play it one more time, except this A is going to shift up to the 6 again, so it becomes a D. Six chord, I guess. Um, so how that goes is Jamie the Now this chord's really crunchy and spicy, and I don't know what the name of it is. You got two A's in the bass, or just one again, and your right hand is playing a G, C sharp, an E, and an F sharp. And then on that chord, uh, halfway through it, you're gonna shift your index finger down to from the C sharp. B. So it sounds like this. So those are the chords for the intro and the um, and the first two lines. And then it's gonna sound like this. I'll play it and then I'll break it down. She comes by the front desk. You're going to play this. Uh, essentially, it's a D major seven chord. So you've got two Ds in the bass, F sharp, A, um, C sharp, and then double the F sharp uh, with the pinky finger if you can reach. So she comes by the front desk. And now this is just a pure, simple G major triad. So you've got one G in the bass. Instead of going back to the D major 7, you're sort of going to play an A6 chord. I think it's an A6 chord. So you've got an A in the bass, and then an A in your right hand, C sharp, and an F sharp. So how that goes from the start of that bit is...
but when he's singing, last night I wrote a poem. Um, so how that works is you're going to play the same A chord you had before, and then you're going to insert, keep the bass the same note as with the A, and then you're going to add play a G and a B as well as the C sharp and F sharp. So you get this really nice crunchy. sings, I'm in over my head, and now this is the chord here, so it kind of goes low and it's it sounds pretty rough, but um, essentially it's a D minor where you've got a D and the D minor, minor triad in your right hand, so D, F, and A, except it sort of sounds good to add the two A's in the bass, which kind of means that it doesn't sound quite like a D, but it's got a good crunchy feel. So, um, so how that goes is from the bit before. Um, I'm in over my head. Now you're going to jump back to the G. Again. I'm in over my head. Now your right hand's, your left hand's going to do the same thing, and your right hand's going to do the same thing, but an octave higher. To the intro chords before he sings, maybe I'll get a pet. So yeah, those are all the chords that um, are used in the song, it basically just loops after that, uh, except there's one last bit at the end, which is just a little piano kind of solo, um, and it sounds like this. just right at the end of the song where he stops singing and it's the last thing you hear. Um, so how that goes is you play an A in the bass and then a D minor triad, so D, F and A, and then you play it again but you add the C with your pinky, and then you change to always A in the bass but you have now D, E and G and B. So essentially it's like the E, essentially it's like the E minor triad stacked on top of a D, so, and then you play the original D minor triad with the A again. So how that sounds together is... Yeah, um, and basically those are all the chords you need to play the song. Um, I don't think it was all perfect because it's quite hard to hear some of the parts, um, but I hope that it helped to a certain degree and uh, thank you for watching.